Hello, everyone. So uh, let us start again a new series of previous year questions with topic discussion of INSS. Uh, as INSS exam is coming in four months. And trust me, INSS exam mein previous year questions and topics are much, much more important than need PG. Why? Because the same set of teachers, professors are making the question paper. So definitely, definitely 20 to 30 percent of the topics are repeated every year. Okay. So previous year questions and topics are must, must for INSS preparation. So let us start this series. We'll discuss three questions daily. Until your INSET exam will be able to cover at least three year papers. Okay. The first we'll do the medicine part and then the rest of the subjects. So this is the first question. The question read is which of the following are seen in iron deficiency anemia? And this type of question kafi aata hai INSET mein. Jis mein aise one, two, three, four hota hai. And options mein A mein one, two, B mein three, four is type of question. So benefit me in type of questions because you will be able to rule out options more easily. Okay. Now, which of the following are seen in iron deficiency anemia? First is reduced serum iron level. Second, reduced transferrin saturation. Third, increased TIPC. Fourth, reduced ferritin. So first of all, in charo mein dekhte kya kya hota hai. Okay. So since iron deficiency anemia, to serum iron to kam hoga. Naam mein yara iron deficiency, serum iron reduced. So ye to thik hai. Reduced transferrin saturation. अब सीरम आयरन कम है और ट्रांसफेरिन इस प्रोटीन जो बाइंड करेगा सीरम आयरन से ओके नाउ क्या होता है बॉडी में कि जब सीरम आयरन कम होगा तो बॉडी तो ट्रांसफेरिन बढ़ाएगी कंपनसेशन के लिए ओके और ट्रांसफेरिन बढ़ाएगी और सीरम आयरन कम है तो सैचुरेशन मतलब कितना ट्रांसफेरिन इज बाइंड टू सीरम आयरन सो अब सीरम आयरन बाउंड ट्रांसफेरिन इज लो ओके क्योंकि आयरन लो और ट्रांसफेरिन बढ़ गया तो ट्रांसफेरिन सैचुरेशन कम हो जाएगा गुड ठीक है थर्ड इज टीआईबीसी बढ़ेगा सो टीआईबीसी इज रिलेटेड टू ट्रांसफर जितना ट्रांसफर बढ़ेगा उतना टीआईबीसी बढ़ेगा सो so, बॉडी को जब लग रहा है कि आयरन कम आ रहा है बॉडी विल ट्राई टू कैप्चर मोर आयरन तो वो ट्रांसफर भी बढ़ेगी टीआईबीसी भी बढ़ जाएगा ओके सो टीआईबीसी बढ़ेगा रिड्यूस फेरेटिन ट्रू अगेन सीरम आयरन कम है स्टोर्स कम है फेरेटिन कम है सो ऑल आर ट्रू द आंसर इज वन टू थ्री एंड फोर Now let us discuss this very important table. We have discussed this in the whole lecture. Okay. That how to differentiate between IDA, anemia of chronic disease and thalassemia. Because all three are causes of microcytic anemia. Although anemia of chronic disease can be microcytic or normocytic. So iron profile ke basis pe inko kaise differentiate karna hai. Okay. So MCV is low in all three. RDWO is high in iron deficiency anemia. But normal in rest of the others. Iron is low in iron deficiency and anemia of chronic disease, while in thalassemia it is normal or can be high because of repeated blood transfusions. TIBC is high in iron deficiency anemia, as we have already discussed. Why? Because body will try to compensate by increasing transferrin. But transferrin will increase, then TIBC will increase. Okay? While in anemia of chronic disease, what happens is that the body has iron stores, but it is not used. If the stores are not used, then the body will not increase the transferrin. So TIBC will be normal or low. Normal in thalassemia. Ferritin will be low in iron deficiency anemia because iron is less, so stores will be less. While ferritin is normal or high in anemia of chronic disease because the body has iron, stores are but it is not used. So, serum will be less and it will be less. While in normal in thalassemia, transferrin saturation is low in iron deficiency anemia while normal in anemia of chronic disease in thalassemia. While transferrin is again high, as we have already discussed in iron deficiency anemia, while normally in anemia of chronic disease and thalassemia. Okay. Now, this is the second question. This question came in INSI 2023. The question reads, which of the following is not used to diagnose metabolic syndrome? So, metabolic syndrome is really, really a hot topic. Because what is happening now is that all diseases, CLD is a common cause. Although alcohol is also happening, but the metabolic cause of CLD is increasing. The nephil is increasing. Now, the new term is metabolic associated fatty liver disease. So, metabolic syndrome is really, really very important topic. Cardiac diseases may be metabolic syndrome because of early MI or patients. So, metabolic syndrome is very common. Now, for metabolic syndrome, there is a criteria for diagnosing criteria. So, what is not coming out? Which of the following is not used to diagnose metabolic syndrome? Okay, so blood glucose is there, blood pressure is there, HDL level is there, 
hip circumference nahi hai waist circumference hai okay so answer is hip circumference okay. so let us discuss this criteria okay. so this is the atp criteria used to diagnose metabolic syndrome the first parameter is ki abdominal obesity which is defined by waist circumference of more than 102 cm in males and 88 cm in females aur ab aisa bhi bolte hain ki it is region specific like asians mein alag hogi non asians mein alag hogi okay. other than that serum triglyceride more than 150 or patient is on drug treatment for elevated triglyceride so suppose of triglyceride 80 bhi aa raha hai kisi ka 120 bhi aa raha hai and he is taking fibrates then it is a positive criteria okay. Similarly, serum HDL less than 40 in males and less than 15 in females. Yeah, the patient is on drug treatment for low HDL cholesterol. Blood pressure more than 130 systolic or more than 80 diastolic, or drug treatment for elevated BP. So someone is hypertensive or what treatment le raha hai, uske baad uska BP 135 se 85 se bhi kam hai, tab bhi it is a positive rate. And fasting plasma glucose more than 100. So yahan pe 100 hai, that is the thing. Or diagnosis of diabetes me. 110 to 126 is borderline or pre-diabetes, and more than 126 is diabetic. Here, but here it is 100 or drug treatment for elevated blood blood glucose. So in five, में से अगर तीन positive होते हैं, then it is a metabolic symptom. Okay. Now this is the third question. In this question again came in INEC 2023. Okay. The question read is with What is the diagnosis in the ECG shown below? So ECG is given here, and uh, as we can see, that there is a skip QRS, 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 QRS. यहाँ पे P wave के बाद QRS नहीं है. Skip QRS and skip QRS means that there is second degree AV block. Okay. Skip QRS means second degree AV block. First degree में there is no skip QRS. Third degree में there is no skip QRS. The second degree. अब सेकेंड डिग्री डिग्री एवी ब्लॉक्स कैन बी मोबिट्स वन एंड मोबिट्स टू नाउ वी कैन सी दैट पीआर सेगमेंट और पीआर इंटरवल इज कांस्टेंट हियर व्हेन पीआर इंटरवल का सेगमेंट इज कांस्टेंट देन इट इज मोबिट्स टाइप टू अगर पीआर सेगमेंट और इंटरवल इज प्रोग्रेसिवली इंक्रीजिंग टिल देयर इज अ स्किप्ड क्यूआरएस देन इट इज मोबिट्स टाइप ओके सो इट इज मोबिट्स टाइप अब लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट एवी ब्लॉक्स So AV blocks may we have first degree AV block. The first degree no skip QRS, only there is slight PR prolongation. Okay, so we can see that there is a PR prolongation. Normal PR interval is point one two to point two seconds, okay. or we can say as three to five small squares. It is the normal duration of PR interval. If PR interval is more than point two seconds. Or more than five small squares, then it is PR prolongation. Or if isolated PR prolongation is no skip QRS, then it is the first degree AV block. So, in this, we can see that PR interval is somewhere eight small squares. Okay, then it is first degree AV block. This is again the second ECG. In this, we can see there is a skip QRS. QRS, QRS, QRS. Here, skip QRS was. So skip QRS हुआ है. Also PR हम यहाँ पे देखेंगे अब. PR is progressively increasing. Now PR is progressively increasing and a skip QRS. The first thing is a skip QRS. Skip QRS means second degree AV block. This is a second degree AV block. Now we'll look for PR interval. If PR interval is progressively increasing, then is this Mobitz type one. Mobitz type one. If PR interval is constant, then it is Mobitz type two. तो मोबिट साइबर में जो ये फिनोमिनन हो रहा है ना जिसमें पीआर इंटरवल इज प्रोग्रेसिवली इंक्रीजिंग इसको हम वैन के बैक फिनोमिना भी बोलते हैं और इसी का एक और नाम है ग्रुप बीटी ओके अब सेकंड डिग्री टाइप 2 है हमने देख ही लिया है क्वेश्चन में दैट पीआर इंटरवल इज कांस्टेंट एंड देयर इज अ स्किप क्यूआरएस नाउ दिस इज थर्ड डिग्री एवी ब्लॉक और कंप्लीट हार्ट ब्लॉक जिसको बोलते हैं Okay, so in this we can see that QRS, 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 QRS. Okay, so RR interval is constant. मतलब कोई skip QRS तो नहीं है, है ना? So RR interval is constant. Ventricle अपना अपने rate से equally contract कर रहा है. PI, PP interval is constant. ये भी P wave है, 
जो टी के जस्ट बाद आ रही सो पी पी इंटरवेल इज कॉन्स्टेंट एंड आर आर इंटरवेल इज कॉन्स्टेंट बट देर इज नो रिलेशन बिटवीन ए पी वेव एंड क्यूआर एस ओके नॉर्मली क्या होता है पी वेव इज फॉलोड बाई क्यू आर एस कॉम्प्लेक्स बट इसमें कोई ऐसा रिलेशन नहीं है ये वाली पी वेव इसके क्यू आर एस नहीं वाली पी वेव इसके क्यू आर एस नहीं वाली पी वेव ये क्यू आर एस है बट कोई रिलेशन नहीं है ये वाली पी वेव ये क्यू आर एस है बट कोई रिलेशन नहीं है सो पी पी इंटरवल इज कॉन्स्टेंट आर आर इंटरवल इज कॉन्स्टेंट बट देर इज नो रिलेशन बिटवीन पी वेव एंड क्यू आर एस कॉम्प्लेक्स ओके देन इट इज कम्प्लीट हार्ट ब्लॉक और थर्ड डिग्री एवी ब्लॉक तो जो ये एंट्री आपने रेट से कॉन्ट्रेक्ट कर रहा है एंट्री कल अपने रेट से अलग कॉन्ट्रेक्ट कर रहा है इसको एवी डिसोसिएशन भी बोलते हैं सो एट्री और वेंट्रिकल बीच में कोई कोई कनेक्शन नहीं है वेंट्रिकल अपना खुद से कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कर रहा है एट्री अपना खुद से कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कर रहा है एंड द एसोसिएशन इज लॉस्ट दिस इज कंप्लीट हार्ट ओके सो लेट अस मीट इन नेक्स्ट क्लास विल अगेन डिस्कस थ्री मोर क्वेश्चंस एंड विल ट्राई टू डिस्कस थ्री क्वेश्चंस डेली ऑफ आईनेसेट एंड द टॉपिक्स एज़ वेल ऑल द बेस्ट